Hi, ladies. I want to read you Philippians chapter 2, verses 14 through 15. It says, Do all things without grumbling and fault-finding and complaining against God and questioning and doubting among yourselves, that you may show yourselves to be blameless and guileless, innocent and uncontaminated children of God, without blemish, in the midst of a crooked and wicked generation, among whom you are seen as bright lights, stars, or beacons shining out clearly in the dark world. So, you know, this verse talks a lot about complaining, and it also talks about what we can be seen as in the midst of darkness or in the midst of unbelievers. It, so, you know, when you think about our mission, uh, our focus at JES, God has called us to be salt and light in our community, in our workplace. This is what he has called us to be. So we should be seen as, what did it say? As bright lights, stars or beacons shining out clearly in the dark world. So that is what we want to be seen as to those around us. Uh, we should be a representative of Jesus, right? Looking like salt and light and acting like salt and light. And so at the beginning of those two verses, Paul's talking about do all things without grumbling and fault finding and complaining. So when I think about workplace environments in general, you know, it can be so easy. I think it's a trap, a major trap of the enemy to get us caught up in grumbling and fault finding and complaining. Because can we all make a list of all the things that we're upset about, that we're not pleased with, that we can't figure out in our workplace, you know, all those things. We could, no matter where you work, you can come up with a list. There are always all these things that frustrate us, right? But uh, you have to have perspective. You have to look here and see what does the Bible say? What does God tell us to have? The, the Lord tells us in the Bible to have the mind of Christ, right? The Bible tells us to be thankful in all circumstances that we can bring our uh, request, the things that we're frustrated with, we can bring them to God's attention, but we are not to get caught up in focusing, uh, in being a, cons a consistent, always, every time we open our mouth, complaining and grumbling and fault finding and pointing fingers. We have got to be careful that that doesn't become our normal, that doesn't become our lifestyle in the workplace and even out of the workplace as well. So we need to do what the Bible says and we need to every day, there's a train that comes to JES. Did you know that? There's a train, every day it comes. It's called the complain train. And sometimes people can pull us on that train. Sometimes the enemy uses what other people are upset about. And then again, it's like a bait that comes and then we can take the bait and we can jump on the train with that person or we can say, you know, yes, I don't get it. It's annoying. I'm frustrated about that. But thank God that the Lord's on our side. Thank God that we can do everything that he's called us to do today, one day at a time. Thank God that what's impossible with man is possible with God. And you know, people don't get it. I know working in education, working in the school district setting, it is hard. People don't understand. There's so much, just like we don't understand other things about other workplaces, right? But God has called us here. You have to keep vision. You have to keep perspective and focus. God has called you here for a reason. You have what it takes in him, in him. You have what it takes to finish well, to finish this school year well, to do each day, one day at a time. You do have what it takes. So we don't have to make our normal constantly from the minute we get into the door to the end of the day. We should not be grumbling, fault finding, and complaining. So I challenge you, just like I challenge myself with this, seriously, every single day. Let's use the word of God to help us, to bring correction to us when we need it. And let's look and let's see, are we going to be that bright light that Paul talks about? Are we going to choose when we get to school in the morning to have the mind of Christ and to choose our words, our actions, our attitudes, to have a mindset of thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you're helping me. 
Thank you, Lord, that I can't do this on my own, but with you, I can do it, God. Thank you, Lord, that there's other ladies in this building that can help to encourage me too, Father, because they're going through the same things that I am. Thank you, Lord, that I'm not going to be a complainer. I'm not going to be a fault finder. I'm not going to be a grumbler, God, but I'm going to be a bright light to the people around me. And I'm going to show them that, yes, God cares. God is on my side and God is going to help me because he's called me here. I'm the right person for this position. I'm the right person to teach these children that are in my room that I can't figure out what to do with. God, you put me here. And so I believe you're going to help me. Say these things to yourself. Say them to someone else. When you hear someone else upset about a situation, speak life and encouragement into them instead of feeding the complaining and the grumbling. And now again, understand, I'm not saying that we can't talk to each other about issues that we can't vent, but we can't have that be our all the time thing. You know what I mean? We've got to bring hope and encouragement to one another and we've got to build each other up in Christ and remind each other, have the mind of Christ. Put it on every day like a helmet. Put it on. When you get in, don't jump on that complain train and don't pull anyone else on the complain train with you because that's not the place that we want to be. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us and we're not going to be grumblers, complainers. We're going to be bright lights shining to those around us and we're going to get through the rest of the school year and we're going to finish well.